For China, the J-36 emergence marks more than a new military prototype. It is a statement of technological intent. As one of only a few nations to field such an aircraft, Beijing has positioned itself at the forefront of the race for the skies, where power, precision and invisibility are the ultimate currencies of dominance. PLA Air Force leaders now openly describe the J-36 as China's interpretation of a sixth-generation aircraft, while the U.S. Air Force officials have quietly acknowledged that it could reach initial operational capability ahead of American programs. China's J-36 sixth-generation fighter has captivated global defense analysts with its blistering development pace, as fresh test flights reveal a prototype that's iterating faster than anticipated in the high-stakes race for aerial supremacy. Unveiled in a stunning debut over Chengdu on December 26, 2024, the tailless trijet marvel, stenciled with 36 on its nose, signaled Beijing's bold leap into next-generation stealth aviation. Escorted by a twin-seat J-20S during its inaugural sortie, the J-36 showcased a blended diamond double-delta wing configuration optimized for transonic and supersonic dominance, blending volumetric stealth with unprecedented endurance. By spring 2025, observers noted its graceful landings at Chengdu Aircraft Corporation's test field, gear extended and rear profile exposed, hinting at a side-by-side -side cockpit for enhanced sensor fusion in contested skies. This rapid prototyping underscores China's strategic pivot toward air dominance, where the J-36 emerges as a heavy fighter-bomber poised to redefine multi-role combat. The J-36 evolution accelerated dramatically through 2025, with a second test flight on March 17 illuminating its core design ethos, radical instability tamed by cutting-edge fly-by-wire systems. Absent the chase aircraft of its maiden voyage, this sortie exposed the aircraft's three engine thrust, two ventral and one dorsal, propelling a flying wing airframe that eliminates vertical stabilizers to slash radar cross-sections and boost fuel efficiency. By October 2025, the second prototype took to the skies at Lopner's secretive airfield, a nod to parallel testing with Shenyang's JXD contender. Major redesigns leaped forward in under 10 months, serrated, angular exhausts mimicking two-dimensional thrust vectoring nozzles for superior maneuverability at high altitudes, revised diverterless supersonic intakes to streamline airflow and minimize infrared signatures, and a reconfigured main landing gear for carrier deck resilience. These tweaks address tailless handling quirks, ensuring the J-36 thrives in dogfights or deep strike missions, all while a patent for carrier landing controls teases naval variants. This frenetic refinement cycle positions the J-36 as a direct counter to Western sixth-generation ambitions, amplifying China's edge in the Indo-Pacific theater. While the US and GAD demonstrators reportedly flew covertly since 2019, public timelines lag, Boeing's F-47 won't soar until 2028 amid funding skirmishes. Beijing's transparency, from viral clips of gear-up maneuvers to exhaust close-ups, contrasts sharply with American opacity projecting confidence in maturing technologies like adaptive engines and AI-driven swarming. The J-36 large frame and twin crew setup envision it as a sensor shooter quarterback, orchestrating drone-loyal wingmen for network lethality that outpaces solo fifth-gen jets like the F-22 or J-20. The J-36 prototype's swift metamorphosis heralds a paradigm shift in stealth fighter innovation. China's aerospace juggernaut, fueled by AVIC relentless iteration, challenges allies to rethink air power doctrines, bolstering beyond visual range arsenals and AWACS integration. In this aerial arms race, the J-36 doesn't just fly, it forges a future where Beijing's wings cast long shadows over global skies. China has officially unveiled its most advanced military aircraft so far. The second prototype, seen in late October 2025, introduced redesigned serrated exhausts that resemble two-dimensional thrust vectoring nozzles, revised DSI side intakes, and a new main landing gear layout, all within roughly 10 months of the jet's public debut. That pace suggests Chengdu and the People's Liberation Army Air Force are iterating aggressively in hardware, trading some rear aspect signature reduction for stability and maneuverability in a very unstable tailless configuration. Chinese research into ultra-fast turbine disc cooling, reportedly linked to future J-36 engines, also points to an effort to sustain high thrust while lowering infrared emissions, a critical parameter for defeating modern air-to-air -air seekers. Behind the shaping is an equally ambitious sensor and mission system concept. 
Public sources already associate the J-36 with a large active electronically scanned array radar, a prominent electro-optical targeting system built into the nose chine, possible side-looking radar arrays, and enough electrical power for multispectral, wide aperture sensing. Analysts describe the jet as an airborne cruiser, a long-range, supercruising platform that can launch large salvos of long-range missiles while acting as a command and control hub for other manned and unmanned aircraft. Combined with side-by-side -side crew seating and heavy onboard computing, the design looks optimized to manage loyal wingman drones, coordinate beyond visual range engagements, and survive in a dense electronic warfare environment rather than simply dogfight at short range. These jets integrate artificial intelligence, advanced stealth materials, and next-level situational awareness systems. Washington is expected to roll out its first operational sixth-generation aircraft by 2030. The J-36 fits Beijing's need for a deep-reach air dominance and strike asset over the Indo-Pacific's vast maritime spaces. With its volume for fuel and weapons, it is tailored to patrol far beyond China's coastline, queuing, and firing long-range anti-ship and anti-air missiles against U.S. carrier strike groups and forward air bases while remaining on station as a sensor node. In a future air war, such a platform could sit at the heart of a kill web, absorbing targeting data from satellites, shore-based radar, and drones, then pushing track quality data to other shooters, complicating U.S. counter-stealth and beyond visual range tactics based on distributed sensing and cooperative engagement capability. The program's evolution has been unusually public for China. PLA Air Force leaders now openly describe the J-36 as China's interpretation of a sixth-generation aircraft, while the U.S. Air Force officials have quietly acknowledged that it could reach initial operational capability ahead of American programs.